come down fossil hunting today to Sands End. It's been quite a nice rough sea and the beach has been well churned up. So we're going to have a look around and hopefully we'll get some good finds. And when I get home, I'm going to show a nice fossil fish that I found a while back. Nice collection of ammonites there. Just been ripped out by the rough sea, presumably. Little corner of the shale has been pulled out and exposed them. They look really nice. Pro we'll probably leave these though because usually they just dry out and crack. Looks like there's a nice ammonite over here, sat on top of a slab. That's quite a nice big one. It's in a big heavy piece of shale. So that's actually a decent size for Elegantisterus. We get a little bit bigger sometimes and occasionally huge, but this is about the sort of average, just above average sort of size really. But again, it's preserved in shale, so only part of it is 3D. The inner chamber and middle have all been crushed when it was fossilised. And there's quite often little ones surrounding it. So there's been one there that's worn away totally. And another one there that's just starting to expose. So I'll leave that there on a rock for someone else to find. I'm sure they'll be really pleased when they come along and see that. Here's a big piece of worn jet. So jet's what they turn into jewellery in the shops at Whitby. It's been a nice long plank of it there, but unfortunately, as you can see, it's full of all these little cracks which have filled in. And essentially there's loads of like calcite throughout all the jets, so it's not very good quality. That's why other people have probably um, left it here. But still really nice to look at. And just in front of that, there's this little nodule filled with ammonites. So we'll open that up later, perhaps. There's quite a few finds down on the beach today. Another piece of worn jet. And also something I uh, walked past, just over here is this rock that looks really nice it's got some golden shells on the surface and a worn ammonite quite often you get these big nodules and you have loads of the shells on just like the one I zoomed in on over there but it's not usually an ammonite on the top, so that's a really nice, unusual piece. A load more lovely ammonites here. It's always nice when you get like two or three different species all next to each other.
On the way towards one of the latest big falls, found this perfect ammonite. Just showing all the way around the edge. It's got a really nice brown shell still preserved on it. Just going to have a walk down here now, up around this corner down there, and see what we can find. I met up with my brother and he's found quite a few nice fossils here. Got a partial Hildoceros. It's obviously been broken in half quite a while, so it's already got barnacles growing all over it. You also got a nice ammonite nodule, an ammonite inside within a piece of shale. So it'd be quite nice to prep that rock off and have it sat in the shale still. And he got this. It's a nice big partial Harposerus ammonite with some other little Dactylioceros on top. Harposerus isn't whole, isn't complete unfortunately, but um, still nice though to have other specimens set on top of it. I ended up meeting with my brother Shay over there. Uh, we decided to keep the ammonites in their nodules so that when we get home we can prepare them with the tools. Perhaps not today but definitely another day and in a future video we're going to show us using the tools to prepare some of the yeah, ammonites. So that should be an interesting video. When we get home we're going to show the fish. What is it? Oh, perfect. <laughs> That's very nice. They're <laughs> just laid over there. Nice one. Just a partial. Quite a few little ammonites, all within this big slab. The ammonites are actually in the nodules, so there should be 3D inside. There's quite a few all within one slab there. There's one over here though, that's just a little bit in the middle. Still nicer on the outside though. This nodule has some worm burrows on its surface. Can't really do much with them, so most people just leave them on the beach. Often they get confused with huge fossil ribs, which is quite understandable.
<laughs> Perfect. Yeah. I like it a lot. I'm back home now and time to show the fossil fish that I mentioned earlier in the video. Here it is. This is what could originally be seen. I couldn't really tell it was a fish at all. A little ammonite there amongst the scales. And it had quite a few fractures to it, as you can tell, but we've sealed them back together. You can't tell at all from the side we've prepared it from. Turning it over, we can see all of the beautiful scales. So this is part of the head, and the fish isn't fully prepared yet, but it almost is. Here's all of those jet black diamond scales. So this is a Lepidotus fish. Uh, there would have been a fin coming off the back, but that had, the slab had like sheared off there, so the fin had gone. This is by far one of my favourite fish fossils. Very, very pleased with this one. Hope I find another one, even if it's not as good. So this is just exceptional. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.